What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tonchi, and this is YBE TV. Today, I want to talk about a question that my man Ralph sent me. It's a pretty good one. And, um, before we jump into that, let's dive into paying some bills. Go to YBETV.org, and you can go down to Ask Tune or Amina, and you can ask questions about health or wealth. You can ask questions to me about the trucking business, making money, helping your family, and things like that. Even certain things about personal credit and business credit. You could definitely shoot me questions on that, and I'll shoot you a video back. And then if you want a question about uh, eating healthy, juicing, uh, taking vitamins, and things of that nature, and getting yourself up to par, you could definitely ask Mina about that. So ask Mina. All right, uh, last but not least, go to www.ybetv.org slash shop, and you can pick up our business credit program, our business marketing program. We got uh, mentoring services. We got uh, the setup where we set your business up for you. We got T-shirt bundles where we will bundle your T-shirts for you for all your business needs. You already know. So Ralph asked me, 1099 independent contractor, company driver, bro, can you please make a video on them 1099 companies and a video about the independent contractor 1099 company taxes? I've been working three independent contractor jobs based out of Elk Grove, Illinois for the past year and one U.S. Freightways all of a sudden went out of business. Now, um, as far as the 1099, for people that don't understand this, 1099 means you own your own business. And you're contracting. So somebody pays you a lump sum of money. They don't take any taxes out. They send you a 1099 at the end of the year to say, hey, I paid this company $60,000 to um, to do certain jobs within a year. And they get to write that off on their taxes. But now you're responsible on paying the taxes on that $60,000 or that $100,000. Now, in the trucking industry, it's like this. The average trucking company, you're going to probably make about $120,000. Average. That should be easy. That's before fuel and expenses of fixing the truck, lease payment, whatever. Uh, one hundred twenty thousand dollars. They gonna the company is just gonna send you uh, a piece of paper, uh, hopefully with your EIN number on it or whatnot, and they gonna send that to you, and it's gonna say uh, ABC Trucking paid one two three trucking one hundred and twenty thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and sixty eight cent. Um. Now, at the end of that, when you get that 1099, you need to figure out ways to get that number down so you won't get taxed on that whole $123,000. Um, now, the thing is, is that you got other companies. Now, you got other companies that, that uh, lease you a truck or even that you're a company driver. Some companies will steal 1099. You They'll say, listen, I'm putting you in this truck. I'm going to pay you cash. And then at the end of the year, you deal with the tax part of it. You can pay your taxes up every week. You can pay them quarterly. You can pay them every uh, 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 semi-annually, or you can pay them annually. But I'm just going to say total. I'm going to add up everything that I gave you, and I'm going to pay you out like that. And then you got other companies. Some companies will just do the taxes for you. They will take the taxes out. They will pay your taxes for you and just do you the same way as a company. Now, those companies may send you a W-2, and the other companies will send you a 1099. So once again, for the people that's really not understanding, like, why would, would you want a 1099? Now, this is the thing. If you're good with, with uh, you know, keeping up with your receipts, and uh, if you get my business uh, credit course, I definitely got something that helps you keep up your receipts, and it's free. Uh, it's definitely part of the bonus material. Uh, if, you, if you're good with that, let's say you're using the app that I got in there, you're keeping up your receipts, it's a little bit better honestly to uh go with the 1099 because you can get rid of so much money and then another thing is let's just say you got a hobby like photography make a business out of it when you buy your equipment you buy your camera and you buy your lens some of these cameras cost three four grand you buy your lens three four grand if you just go buy that and you just doing your trucking thing you just screwed yourself out of a huge write-off now if you go for, uh start you a company called abc photography now you can actually write that camera off. You can write that lens off. That 128 gig memory card, you can write that off. Like there's so many different things that you could write off. And that is the goal. Sometimes people might have five, six, seven businesses and not even to mention a nonprofit business where they go out and they help in the community and they certain do certain things. If you talk to your accountant, that's why it's good to as you make money, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this tip, and it's gonna be a great tip. 
there's a lot of people that's out here and the first thing they say is I want to get a truck and I want to make a bunch of money. Okay, that's great to get your lifestyle and to keep your truck running. Then they've got to buy another truck and they making money off that. It's like, okay, you could you could uh, keep that truck going, but you want to make sure that you're getting the maintenance done, okay? And then when you get to your third and fourth truck, now you're looking at it like, I got an abundance of money. I cleared myself three grand a week. Well, I could just spend that on myself. No. You want to start putting big chunks of money back into the business and to make the business grow. Now, I'm going to give you this tip that a lot of people don't give out. One of the best things that you can do is get two people on your team to the point where you almost paying them $1,000 a month. And you know who those two people is? An accountant and a lawyer. You want to get a business lawyer and an accountant because you're going to call them and you're going to start just giving them the work. Like, look, hey, how you doing? Uh, John, you're a great accountant. Michael, you're a great lawyer. All right, this is what I'm trying to do. I want to structure my company the right way. I want you to follow my company and make sure everything is going right and everything is set up right. John, the accountant, you make sure that the money is right. You make sure that we structure right when it comes to the money. Let me know what we need to go from an LLC to an actual uh, S Corp. You know, and and uh, John or whoever, Mike, uh, the lawyer. Look, you make sure everything is good. You make sure our contracts is up to par. You make sure everything is great. And they might even actually tell you when to structure and when to restructure and uh, certain things that you need to do or reformat certain things. And when you do that and you got them on retainer, I'm telling you, your company will run a lot smoother. And that, the, the, the accountant, he'll start telling you when it's time to buy another truck. That accountant will be like, all right, um. Uh, uh, Tune, look, this is what's going on. We've been looking at your funds, and we've been looking at everything. Uh, right now, in another six weeks, you should be able to buy a truck. I say get you something bigger so you can write that off, and you can do this, and you can do that, and you can write off the depreciation that will help you to bring your taxes down. You can lose on this company one more time, but after that, you can't lose on that company anymore. So blah, 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 this, that, and this. So those are going to be some of the things that you could do and push forward. And last but not least, the 1099 thing. There's nothing wrong with that. You just got to make sure that you got a good account that's going to show you all your write-offs or you're going to end up losing a gang load of money. And it's going to go to the tax man. So I hope that helps somebody. I hope that's uh, the answer to the question. This is your boy, Tunchi, signing off. And this is YBETV. And if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Sorry for the noise, y'all. YBETV.